are, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, we have so many topics. We can talk about feelings, Tide Pods, planking. Okay, since we've run out of topics, I think we talk about what entertains the entertainers, like YouTube and podcasts. Okay. You know, one of the things I've noticed is that since we've been doing this show, I've been watching a lot more YouTube. Is that so you can see what we're doing wrong? That's exactly this episode? what I <laughs> No, I think that's a good idea. We should talk about what entertains us on YouTube or other mediums like podcasts. All right. I'll go first. So I'll represent the, the mighty nail and gear. Um, what is, what is that? that? This is well. It's the mighty nail and gear. I don't understand. <laughs> I've seen you wearing from, that shirt. I think I've asked you before. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's I thought from it was a, a joke podcast about uh, called Hello Internet. <laughs> and uh, if you're familiar with CGP Gray, who does a lot of viral videos, and the other guy on the podcast is Brady Heron, who has a lot of YouTube shows about sciency stuff. And uh, they've been doing this podcast for uh, three or four years now. And uh, it's it's just remarkable. It's them talking about whatever they want to, basically. There are a lot of regular sequence sequences like Plane Crash Corner and uh, uh, them, yes, and them, and, and, and them talking about like various bullshit with YouTube and... Uh, but it's all like semi-educational, kind of well, like the Green Brothers or... It, no, it's, it's absolutely hilarious. It's, okay. uh, it's mainly comedy, but it's just kind of comedy because it's they're just funny people rather than it, them trying to produce a funny show okay um and it's got a huge community around it they've got uh th there's a lot of flag content so they did their own flag uh there's uh <laughs> flag that's an inappropriate flag no 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 like as in like a whole <laughs> flag right referendum notice. and and uh postcards and everything it's but it's it's a great show with a lot of community involvement uh, they're really funny guys. I've done a shitty job selling it, so somebody else go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love cats, obviously, so I've got two. If you like watching cat videos... I was like, wait, wait, bullshit, you have, you have 85 you have cats. cats? Or you <laughs> have two suggestions? I have two suggestions for cats. Okay. Uh, or cat videos. Uh, there's the kitten lady if you want to learn more about like hand rearing kittens. Oh, this is educational cat stuff, not uh, well, a bunch of cats like tripping on. Oh no, my next <laughs> one. Catnip. All right, go <laughs> like ahead. catnip. Oh no, you want Mimi videos? Um, so she no, raises no, no, no. abandoned kittens. I cry. My wife has walked in when I've like cried to a video before um, because it's. Uh, she finds these little abandoned kittens, or she goes to shelters and picks up these uh, kittens that normally uh, shelters would kill because they haven't been weaned. They're tiny, they're itty bitty little things. And she'll teach you it, what to do in the instance that you find a kitten like that, or if you come into contact um, and you want to help shelters out by raising kittens. Um, she'll show you how to bottle feed, how to, um, make them go to the restroom, um, and how to keep them alive. Hmm. Uh, and it also goes through like their whole growing up and adoption. So she, she does this. Um, it's really good to watch her videos because she gets money from it and it goes straight to her, pockets. um, her pockets for <laughs> aid in the kittens. Um, <laughs> what, what I have already learned is that there are whole sections of YouTube that I just there have are. no There are. There's no, no connection to any like, other. I have a question about this. So does she give you like different scenarios? Like this is what happens if you find a kitten on the road. This is what happens if you find a kitten in the farm. So most of her videos. <laughs> this is what happens when you find a kitten that's demonically possessed. <laughs> no, this is what happens when you find a kitten in space. <laughs> no, it. it, it because so, I, I can only imagine there's so many scenarios that you could go through. So her videos are her going to the shelters or oh. like her videos, like she even was just going to do a demonstration because she will go and speak to different shelters on training how you do this when you get a kitten that's not weaned. Um, so she trains workers. She does have pamphlets that she, you know, gives out and basically is a how-to. She sells little preemie bottles and stuff uh, so that they don't aspirate when you're trying to bottle feed them. The other cat-centric YouTube that I watch, and this is on YouTube, is 10 Cats Plus. <laughs> so it is a Japanese YouTuber. Of course it is. Who has 10 cats. And it's just... Wacky hijinks and soon. Basically. It's just little videos of his cats or her cats. I'm not sure if it's a he or her um, or they, doesn't really matter. 
You don't and know if the person talking is a he, she, or they? No, it's all about the cats. They don't speak or anything like that, but they throw little birthday parties for their cats. It's really, it's really cute. You look at me like, oh, man, uh, YouTube, no, I mean, YouTube those, has everything. <laughs> those people have like billions of subscribers, I'm sure. We're struggling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they have a They have the right idea. We need more fucking cats on the show. <laughs> and what do you listen to? The internet thing. The internet. We thing. need the yes, internet yes. and cats. <laughs> One of my favorite you YouTube videos is a guy called uh, My Life in Gaming. It's a guy named Corey and Try. And uh, we've actually used some of their footage when talking about like pixel art and technology and all the things that go with that. And these guys, these guys have been doing this for a few years and they mainly focus on like retro gaming, mm -hmm. retro gaming gear, how to get the best quality picture out of your old systems. I've they, some of their Yeah, they have stuff. an RGB class that they go through and they do um, streaming, I think on Sundays. I think they do stream Sundays or Mondays. Um, and they just play old games. Like they play things like Cotton and random Sega CD games. And Cotton's just, a shooter. I love that game. Yeah, it's a great game. I'm like, oh my god, it's Cotton. We should watch that. Um, so I really like what they do. Like, when I grow up, I want to have like a podcast that's just dedicated to like, you know, really hardcore video game technology, but I don't really need one because they're already doing this thing. So I, 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 I highly suggest y'all check out My Life in Gaming. You're probably older than those guys. No, no, they're about our age. They're 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 so also 30. near mid. They're 30. Yeah, they're 30. Yeah. <laughs> totally 30. Uh, so... You said video games, and one of my favorite things, you guys love to learn about things, like I assume, <laughs> on YouTube and, and podcasts. Yes. If you I listen mean, to podcasts, I'm a visual guy. YouTube is great to learn like, things. I'm, I'm visually, like I can't, I don't listen to podcasts, but visually, like I like looking at people's comic book collections and things like that. But there's a guy that used to work at Sierra, uh, this video game company, and his name is Metal Jesus Rocks, and that's his YouTube channel. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's heavy into retro gaming, yeah. which I love. He, he like he does episodes on like the top ten best Sega Saturn gems, which are the hardest find mm -hmm. video games, or the top ten like Game Boy Advance games. Um, he hard to find video games. He interviews people. He's from the Seattle He's area. From Seattle, yeah. mm -hmm. um, I really love his show. It's great. It's it was probably one of the few shows I've subscribed to because I don't I don't really watch much youtube this you know despite the fact that i have a youtube channel but <laughs> i'm like what but yeah it's, i it's love i love looking language. at i love looking at people's us. collections like he interviews people that have collected every single like wii game every single gamecube game american japanese mexican that was my favorite one i'm like oh, yeah, they have so exclusive yeah. mexican games yep. that's awesome uh recently he did an episode well not that recently on the Nintendo 64 DD development drive and how he has the only United States development drive wow. and like a development disc and like like I'm like eee! and every time I watch his show there's sometimes I'm like ooh I shouldn't watch this because every I look at his oh, walls yeah. and I see things like I have that I have that ooh I don't have that eBay no, we'll, <laughs> well that's um, it's dangerous to watch these things like collection videos like mm -hmm. when it comes to comic books because uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys are aware. But I also co-host another YouTube show called Omni Bros Live. I don't, did you guys pick this up, or do you even know what it is? I know what it is. I'm just not that ingrained in Claremont X Men to for that to really appeal to me right now. And we share a lot of books that we collect. Like this is why you should be reading this, and not you know comic books, but actual collected editions. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. hardcovers, trade paperbacks, and omnibus editions. <laughs> and that can get expensive because a couple of the guys come in there like, oh, you should get the fourth world omnibus. It's only $150, but this is what you get. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what I, I, I wasn't going to buy it. <laughs> and, you know, so it's really cool. So Omni Bros Live, we have a live uh, show every Monday and Thursday and Wednesdays. <laughs> That's a lot of days. Every, every yeah, day every is day. not these days. Every, every day, day is, is not day. these days. Yeah, but... <laughs> Omni Bros Live. So, as far as YouTube goes, I, you know, in when we talked about doing this episode, I started flipping through my subscriptions and realized that more than half kind of fall under the how it's made <laughs> style of, yeah, of cool. shows. But the one that I like that I that I enjoy the most is called uh, Primitive Technology, um, where it's this guy. I, I think I think he's in Australia, uh, you know, or somewhere in that vague area of the globe. <laughs> um, but it's just Montana. this guy who okay. is out like building stuff with from scratch mm -hmm. and like literally from scratch like he's making his own tools from from stones and is like this sharpening like burning man like no i mean like he, style guy well i mean he's just out in the woods and he's making like shelters and like a kiln and has like, he heard of amazon prime <laughs> shipping <laughs> he has a camera so he's able to film this yeah. so he knows what technology is uh, you know like like <laughs> right so and and make you know like like making uh clay shingles for like his I roof think I've and, seen and some I mean, of all that. kinds of stuff. I mean, but it's just it's just 
fascinating. Well, As a guy, do you want to yeah, do that? Well, you want to no, I mean, build he's just fires. out there, you know, in, in shorts, and he's just like, you know, he make you know, going to the stream, making a bunch of mud, bringing the mud back, making a pot, you know, making a mud house, and it's just like, I, I mean, <laughs> well, and, it doesn't and he rain, doesn't, he and he doesn't say anything, and I could just sit here and watch these for hours. <laughs> so t people like that usually end up with some kind of show like on either Animal Planet or the History Channel. Or, <laughs> like Bear well, Grylls. I think of like, but what's his face? Turtle Man. But the only famous guy from Kentucky used to have a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> and he went on to be this famous, well, I guess nobody knows who he is now, but you know, for a couple of years there, he blew up and yeah. uh, shut up. Uh, he was on Animal <laughs> Planet. Yeah, way to represent Kentucky. Like, the guy had no teeth. Like, top teeth were missing. <laughs> if you like shows about making things, uh, there are two cosplayers. Uh, one's based in Seattle. One is Atlanta proper. It's Vulpin Props. I know I've mentioned them before on my mm -hmm. Gaiden uh, cosplay. Uh, Vulpin Props and Chin Beard. Uh, they both have great tutorials on how to make foam armor or how to cast uh, material, replicas. Um, so if you're interested in how it's made oh, yeah. or like costume or props, they're highly focused on, uh, prop work. Watch some of their YouTube cool. channels because they do go step by step by step. This is how I did this. This is how I made my armor out of foam. This is the material you would use to coat it to make it more durable. Um, this is the glue I use, uh, particularly Vulpin props. He will do test trials and he'll actually lay out and he's, he has different samples and he says, I use this glue on this one. I use this glue on this. And he does, um, sort of checks and balances mm. to see what glue works best, what paint works best, what technique works best. And he's very key on finding out, uh, what paint or technique works best for certain uh, like metallic work, what makes it look metallic, even though it's just foam. All this stuff is just foam work. Very cool. So it's really cool. I think it would be right up your alley. So it's sort of non-geeky or non-geek okay. is my murder podcast. So I murder. love murder podcasts. It's well, sort of like a guilty pleasure. Is this where like they murder you and then they no, record it? No, this, this is talking about <laughs> real life It's hot. It's tough killers. to listen to while you drive. <laughs> you know. Not George! Okay. Uh, two women. Unsolved memories. Unsolved mysteries. Sorry. Unsolved memories. Kind of. Okay. okay. I, I, I guess. Gotta make a good band name. No. <laughs> Miss yeah, Unsolved no. Mysteries. Sorry. Go ahead. Robert go Stack's ahead. voice. It, serial killers. So okay, my favorite okay. murder. It's two California girls, and I've briefly touched base uh, on this topic before. So two California girls. Uh, it's listed as a comedy podcast, um, but if you don't like murder. Don't listen to it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. It's called My Favorite Murder. It's by uh, Karen Hardstark and Georgia Kilgariff. Is this real life? Like, they're the real murders? Or These is this are like... real murders. So they have two different styles they do it in. They release twice weekly. Uh, one where they do their show where they both profile different murders. Um, so there's two stories. And then uh, later in the week, I think on Thursday, they have what they call hometown murders, where people write in and they read you their your hometown murder. So there's no solving these mysteries. It's just murder there is. stories? No, no, no. There is. So some of them are unsolved. Some of them are solved. They're just going through and saying, hey, there's a lot of creepy fucks out there. Listen to this. The other show, which is just dead set, this is a case profile, kind of like Cold Case. Mm. If you ever watch it, it's oh, yeah. called Case Files. Okay. It's based out of Australia. Podcasts or YouTube? Podcast. Okay. Uh, again, um, he's Australian and he does, it doesn't matter where it's based. It's not just simply, you know, Australian murders, although Australia has a lot of serial killers. It's also profiling uh, the United States, England just everywhere. So it's interesting because he will have um, actual case files. He'll have clips or sound bites from the case or trial. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get to experience multiple steps. Not only like this is the background on this person, this is the victim. And they do a good job of profiling the victims and making it more about the victims than the serial killers themselves. Okay. 8-4 is the last level Super Mario Brothers, and 8-4, these are these guys in Japan. Uh, it's run by John Ricciardi, the podcast is helped by Mark McDonald, and there's a guy named Roy, and Graham, and etc. They go through a bunch of people. But what they do, their job is to translate video games, 
and bring them to the U.S. market. Oh, cool. Okay. So, like, the reason that we got Dragon Quest VI in English is because of these guys. Nintendo contracted to them to do the translation and bring it up. Is wow. this a podcast awesome. or a... So, it is a podcast. Okay. Um, occasionally, they do, like, well, maybe only once they've done, like, video things. But most of the time, it is a podcast. It's a, an hour and change long. But in addition to just talking about, like, what they do, which they talk a little bit of that, they mainly focus on gaming in Japan. Japanese gaming and Japanese things that are going to Japan. Like, they've gone on rants about, like the Japanese McDonald's and how they have the different flavors of burgers. They talk about things like how difficult it is to get a driver's license. But then they also focus on like video game news and how that pertains to the Japanese market. Like Monster Hunter is really, Monster Hunter World is really, 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 really big. So they've oh, been yeah. talking about that. But they talk about like, you know, all aspects of gaming and Japanese gaming and Japanese culture. And I've been on their show a couple of times and they're just a really great group of folks that, that are really bringing gaming something awesome to listen to like i know if i have to drive a decent amount of time i can cue these guys up and i will not go to sleep so i highly recommend if you're into japanese gaming or just gaming in general 8 4 play cool, cool. all right dan you um, got any more? yeah well there's one podcast and one one youtube show that i just want to mention real quick the podcast is called the secret world chronicle and it is a sci-fi ongoing like fiction series uh, Mercedes Lackey is one of the main contributors. Okay. Um, it is all dramatized. Uh, it's all read by the same woman, but but she's incredible. It's just different voices and characterizations. It's about basically like alien Nazis attacking modern day. I think I've played that game before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> modern day the world, uh, but the modern day the world has superheroes. Mm. So. That that's basically the plot. That's interesting. Uh, and then the YouTube show, because I have to bring it back to Transformers eventually. Uh, <laughs> Please is a, a series called Transformers: The Basics by a guy named Chris McFeely, who is one of the main contributors to the Transformers Wiki. If you've ever looked at the Transformers, I just saw their Jetfire episode. Yeah, yeah, and and it's a it's really enjoyable for, I guess, people who, who are coming to Transformers anew, but even for those of us who, you know think we know a lot of this stuff it's always like oh i didn't know that connection there mm. and because i mean this guy's knowledge of transformers is encyclopedic in the classic sense i mean he knows everything mm. um so that's that's my last one okay it's transformers the basics so speaking of transformers um and like i said i like watching people's hauls and people's videos but uh one of the ones that I found, uh, and this is kind of how we got hooked up with uh, Josh from G1 Hexatron, was I was just looking through YouTube one day and I found he does reviews of Transformers in the style that we used to do, but mm -hmm. you know, for magazines and for yeah. a website. He literally goes through each articulation, transform mainly Transformers, but he has more than that, like um, you know, He Man and things like that. He's a huge collector, a uh, huge toy collector. Oh, yeah. Again, his, web uh, his YouTube channel is G1 Hexatron. So, um, yeah, if you like watching reviews of toys and whether they're worth getting the upgraded version of it or <laughs> you want to save your money, I would definitely check out his channel. He's a cool guy. The other podcast that I listen to a whole bunch is a guy named Kevin Larabi, and he does something called Back in My Play. What he does is he'll find, like, a game, specifically, like, one game, and they talk about, like, playing it all the way through and what attracted them to the game. Like, they did Zelda 2 recently, uh, Super Metroid. They've done, like, indie games. And he's just a really good guy, and it's good to, like, hear him talk. He ha he interviewed. He does some really cool interviews also. Um, like, for example, you know there's that new Street Fighter collection that's coming out with all the Street Fighter, the 12 Street Fighters coming out. He got those guys to come on and talk about their project and interview them. So it it's just a really good, solid podcast, and it's... It had a small hiatus because he has, like, I think he's starting a gym or something like that. But, but this is my gym. They usually, go, they, they usually go hand in hand. Yeah. Like it makes sense. Again, we're all, we're, in gym. we're all, gyms, we're all yeah. diverse in things we like. Even though I've been talking mostly about geek stuff, but like you know, back in my back in my play, I really enjoy that dude's Kevin's podcast, and he, he has some really cool stuff coming in the pipeline for 2018. I'm surprised you didn't mention any bourbon podcast, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I think that's a great roundup. Um, I think we could go on and on about podcasts and YouTubes that we watch. Are they called YouTubes? YouTubes? YouTubes. YouTube subscriptions? Oh, you too God, can so watch old. YouTube. <laughs> Do you have any podcast or YouTube recommendations for us? Please comment down below, like, and subscribe. Sorry, I thought you were doing something. <laughs>
The camera roll is on you. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can do whatever. Oh, you can do whatever. That's true. All right. Oh. <laughs> that was wrong. Sorry. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I need an adult. I, I, he, we all are adults. Oh, okay. God. Okay.